So what's up guys, Jermaine here. Welcome back to the channel. So we are in some crazy times here where it seems like everything day after day is literally getting more and more expensive. And this is because of simply inflation. Now, inflation is something that, you know, most people have always heard of. We always knew it was there. Inflation tends to go up 2% every year. And that's, you know, on average. And that's a way to where it's healthy, to where people can manage, you know, the steady rise of things, but without feeling a major pinch. But then when you have quarter after quarter where inflation is rising five to 6%, it gets very painful very fast. So inflation is like the invisible tax. So that's what I'm gonna talk to you guys about today, about how to beat inflation and how I'm putting this into practice myself. So you guys can see like real world examples of how to beat inflation. So if you guys are new here, my name is Jermaine Young. I talk all things financial related, stock market, real estate, credit cards, things like that. So if this is stuff you guys are interested, consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you guys here along for the ride. So like I said, inflation is something that's always here. You see a steady rise of it year after year, and it's kind of easy to you know hedge against inflation in normal times. And you know something could be simple as putting cash into a high yield savings account. See, back when, you know, interest rates was pretty, you know, normal and not basically zero, you can park money into a savings account and you can get like about a 2% uh, yield on your return on your cash. And that, you know, you didn't really make money, but you wasn't really losing money. So your money is like being ate up by inflation. Because the thing is with inflation, Every day you have cash, like sitting in an account that gives you no kind of interest on it, your money is being worth less day after day after day. So your buying power just decreases. So it's just imagine like having $10,000. And let's say, you know, inflation went up X amount of percent. At the end of the year, it could be very possible that what you was able to spend that $10,000 on has a buying power of like, say, nine thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars it may not seem like a lot but you know over time it eats away at it time and time it's like it's like an invisible tax that it just constantly just chips away at it but see in today's times you see things are getting more and more expensive very fast food prices is up gasoline is up you know things like that so how do you hedge against inflation now historically it's been ways where you can hedge against it, to, where you can buy gold or silver, hard assets, things like that. This is stuff you probably heard about already, but no one's actually put it into probably context for you. So I'm not going to talk about gold or silver because it's not things that I invest in. Yes, I do have gold watches and, you know, I have gold uh, chains and stuff like that, but I don't look at them as investments. I just look at them as things that I got because I like. And yeah, you know, the value does go up over time over them. Cool, but not anything I look at as an investment. So how would I hedge against inflation? So if you guys know me, you know that not only am I really big into the stock market, but I'm also big into real estate. Real estate is something that is a class by itself when it comes to hedging against inflation. And I'm gonna give you a perfect example of this. So the time I'm recording this video today, I'm actually gonna be closing on another property that I've been working on, you know, I haven't really talked about it on a channel behind the scenes. But to give you guys a perfect example of how, yes, inflation can hurt you, but it can help you and how you hedge against it. So I went into, I went into contract on this property in September. It's now November, you know. So I've been in escrow for a little while over this property, longer than I originally wanted to. but. I'm actually getting a really good deal on this. And I'm gonna tell you why. So I went into contract on this property in September, right at asking price. Now you say, oh, Jermaine, you just said you got a good deal. Hear me out. Right at asking price of $460,000. I got that property in contract for that. Now, the entire time that I've been holding this property, inflation has been growing, 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 and raging on. But inflation affects everything. Like, cars are more expensive now. 
houses are more expensive now. So during that time that I've actually held this property in escrow to where today when I'm about to close on it, it went from being valued at 460,000 where, you know, I went into contract on it and I really didn't want to, but the seller was just not bending on it. And rightfully so, because it's a seller's market. To where now, today when I signed this, I would have made $40,000 equity on this property already. This house is now worth $500,000. So just by inflation raging on, and I didn't even own the property yet, but when I signed today, from the time when I went into contract today, when I'm gonna close on it, I made $40,000 in equity just by holding this property. That's inflation working for you and not working against you. So then now I'm gonna own this property I'm going to do some, you know, renovations in it to, you know, hopefully increase the property value even more, which is good. But it also, because this is a hard asset, it's a rental property. It's going to be cash flowing. I'm going to be making money from this property every month. Money that's going to be coming back to me. So I'm buying this asset that already is increasing in value, is hedging against inflation for me. So as inflation goes up, my wealth goes up. And this is why a lot of real estate people embrace inflation because of things like this. And this is why when we say buy hard assets, I'm never going to tell you go buy gold or silver because I don't do that. I mean, there's some people that may do that, but I don't want something that, you know, I could just have there and buy, you know, gold just to sit there in my living room and look pretty and not give me no kind of return. But this real estate that I'm buying, all these rental properties, they give me a return. So... I got this one property and that's just one example to where I bought it and the property value went up. Remember I have five other properties. I got four single family homes and then I got another duplex. All of those property values have been increasing in this market. And because inflation has been going up, rents have been going up in some of these markets. Some of them astronomically since the pandemic. So now I got assets that are going up so now my total wealth is going up from holding these assets from holding them and then i can get more cash flow every month because now i can raise the rents <laughs> you know when the leases expire because rent prices are going up so then the good thing is with this house that i'm buying today that i'm closing on it has tenants in there as I've said, that they're already paying rent, so they're cash flow. It's cash flowing. It's gonna be paying me, but the rents are also under market value, so I have room to raise the rents even more to get it to you know, not at market value, but right there, and then I can increase that more, and then those tenants pay off the property for me. The property still increases in value because it's an inflationary market, and it's a win-win situation for me. Every month I'm gonna be bringing in money from these assets and then as inflation goes up the value goes up this is definitely not a market where you want to be holding cash so the best advice i can give anyone is to invest invest into something buy your favorite stocks that you've been looking at you know on these volatile days buy them yeah you're gonna have some rough days in the market but hold it over time that's gonna do good too but if you really want to beat inflation you got to get into real estate you have to you know, I understand it's expensive with the top of the market, but the longer you wait, the more expensive it will get. That's the best advice I can give you guys. Let me know, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. I can't wait to go through this deal with you guys in full. So once I close on it, I'm going to do a full walkthrough of the property, show you guys everything, give you a full breakdown on how much I'm actually paying per month, how much the tenants are paying me, the interest rate I got on it. I got a crazy deal with the bank. Oh my God. <laughs> There's so many gems I'm going to drop in that video for you guys on this deal because it's just, it's just insane about how much money I'm making just from signing this contract today. More than just what I was just explaining about the inflation hedge, how I just made the 40000 just signing it. So I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. As always, until next time, peace.